Hi, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwine. And I'm Vince Penman. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the designs behind electric motors and how they're used. An electric motor is a device that turns electrical energy into mechanical energy. The basic design for the electric motor was invented over 200 years ago. Although electric motors have thousands of applications, they all work based on the same concept, electromagnetism. The basic principle of electromagnetism states that when you run an electric current through a wire, a magnetic field is generated. So when you run electricity through a wire, the wire itself becomes an electromagnet. An electric motor has a stationary part called a stator and a rotating part called a rotor. The stator generates a magnetic field and the rotor is an electromagnet that rotates inside this field. Because opposite poles of a magnet attract and like poles repel, the magnetic south pole of the rotor will move toward the magnetic north pole of the stator. By repeatedly switching the direction of the current in the rotor's electromagnet, the poles keep flipping sides and this rotational motion continues. The output shaft of the motor is attached to the rotor and the rotational motion drives the device attached to the motor. And so ends the sexiest description of electromagnetic theory in the history of the world. You're welcome. Sometimes you want an electric motor to run at different speeds depending on the application you're using it for. Engineers use units called variable speed drives to control the speed of an electric motor by controlling the voltage or frequency of the electricity used to run the motor. The use of drives allows for smoother operation, acceleration control, accurate positioning, and torque control in electric motors. It's variable speed drives that allow us to have 12 speed blenders instead of just one speed blenders. That means we can get our smoothies in 12 deliciously distinct consistencies. These drives also control the speed of fans, pumps, and blowers. While the basic principles of drives and motors are the same, the vast number of applications presents engineers with lots of different design challenges. At companies like Bueller Motors, Heinzmann & Wegg in Germany, Engineers and designers use software modeling tools like PTC's Creo Direct Modeling Solutions to design electric motors and drives for a wide variety of consumer products and industrial applications. WEG designs motors with specific dimensions designed for a circular saws, motors designed so they won't corrode in high humidity environments, like cooling towers, and even poultry fan motors with totally enclosed designs so they can be used in agricultural environments without getting clogged with airborne debris. The Heinzmann Company manufactures a range of drives for fuel injection systems and control systems on diesel electric locomotives. Electric motors and drives also have a variety of applications in the transportation industry. As concerns about climate change associated with the emission of greenhouse gases grow, some jurisdictions like California are mandating that a certain number of vehicles automakers produce must be zero emissions vehicles. While cars that run on electric motors are currently available, they have to overcome some challenges that are impeding their adoption. The current battery technology is expensive and isn't quite at the level required to make long distance travel practical in an electric car. Also, the lack of charging stations for electric cars is a practical concern. For over a hundred years, electric motors have been used to power trains, subways, cable cars, and electric buses. Power is transferred to some electric trains and road vehicles by overhead cables. Some electric trains and most subway systems are powered by an electrified third rail. In the U.S., certain rail corridors in the Northeast have been electrified. In Europe and in Japan, most of the high-speed trains, like France's TGV and Japan's Shinkansen, run on electric motors. You can try CreoDirect Modeling Solutions, the same software that engineers use at Bueller Motors, Heinzmann, and WEG, with a free-for-lifetime version from PTC. Just go to ptc.com slash go slash modeling PE. That's it for the Product Design Show this week. Maybe next week I'll talk about more exciting engineering theory, like eddy currents. If you like the show, please give us a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes. We'll see you next week when we delve into the engineering of toys.